Hello everyone, my name is Prashi and I'm back again with another sit down video. Today we will talk about hyperhidrosis, specifically how to treat it using a homemade iron tuberosis. First of all, what is hyperhidrosis? So this is the abnormally excessive sweating that's not necessarily related to heat or exercise. So if you're watching this on your bed or on your couch and you feel your hands sweating, and even during the day you sweat a lot, even if you don't exercise, like you're just in your relaxed state and you've come to the right place. I have hyperhidrosis too, and I can that I am 90 to 95% sweat free because of using this homemade iron pilferesis device that would probably cost you like less than 500 pesos. This is very safe, affordable, and super cost effective compared to the commercial devices you see online that would probably cost you like 24,000 and above. I mean, if you can afford it, then good for you, but I'm speaking to the majority who wants to save and find an affordable treatment for hyperhidrosis. So I started to notice my excessive sweating back in my early teens during my adolescent stage. And I thought that was normal because all humans sweat, but I knew back then that my situation was very different because I would sweat my hands and feet even though I wasn't doing much physical activity so even by just sitting down even just by eating or watching TV my hands would like sweat a lot I remember back in my school days whenever I just listened to the teacher I would just start to feel my hands sweating and it was also super challenging especially whenever I take notes the ball pen would just slip out of my hands and it was just like really slippery really wet and I could also like feel it very uncomfortable writing down some notes and I would also notice that the papers the notes on my notebooks would get smudged because of my sweaty hands <laughs> so I would always carry a handkerchief with me that was like my savior because from time to time I would wipe the sweat off my hands like for example like this cloth like I would just wipe them down and then my hands would be dry for a few seconds and then it'd be sweaty again after a minute so it was also socially challenging because you know when you get to have class activities or like meeting new people you have this like handshake gestures and it was it was really nerve-wracking for me it was I would really get um, a bit of anxiety I would get really nervous whenever I would talk to new people and they would expect a handshake because I don't want them to feel my sweaty hands so I would always make sure to have my hanky with me I think it was also during my late teens that I discovered this homemade iron regretting why I just made this video because now that I'm older I've become more aware that hundreds and thousands of people also suffer from this and the reason why I posted this video is to share awareness and share my knowledge on how to um, stop your hands from sweating anyway I'm just gonna stop right there I know you're watching this because you want to find a solution for your excessive sweating and I got you and I truly understand your situation so how does homemade iron pilferesis work so according to Healthline during iron pilferesis a medical device delivers mild electrical currents while your affected body part is submerged in water the currents are often delivered to the hands feet or armpits to block your sweat glands temporarily when you hear the electrical current please don't be scared or get overwhelmed so basically this procedure blocks your sweat coming out of your sweat glands temporarily 
stopping your sweat. And there have been many studies and reviews that has dramatically decreased sweating. So we have to note that this treatment is not permanent but a long-term solution. So it's very important that this treatment should be done continuously or you can follow a maintenance schedule. And if you want a permanent solution, I guess it would probably cost you a lot. I mean like you can undergo surgery or have products, but personally I would rather have an affordable cost effective treatment for my hyperhidrosis. So here are some important tips before we get started with a homemade hypophoresis. First, you do not use this when you're pregnant or when you have a skin condition or skin diseases, when you have a heart condition or you have a pacemaker or um, a metal implant within like your skin and the very important rule here is to visit your doctor before you go for this treatment. So just a disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional so it's really important that you visit your doctor. Okay, so I'll show you the materials and the step-by-step -step procedure. So the materials that we need are two aluminum pans or stainless steel pans, three alligator clips, you can get them in any hardware or electric store, and if they sell a longer clip, you may also want to get them cut shorter. Two 9V battery, two sponge cloth which will be discussed in the next few minutes. So before the treatment, I make sure my hands are clean. So I wash my hands and pat them dry with a towel. First thing we do is to fill both pans with water. You can fill it 3 fourth of the pan so it doesn't overflow. Next is to attach the alligator clips to the batteries then to the pan. Make sure it connects to positive to negative. The sponge or washcloth is optional but I recommend it so your hands don't touch the bottom of the pan. Another optional material is salt. If you feel like your water is weak to be conductive enough, you can put a pinch of salt in both pans for the treatment to work better. You can also add a teaspoon of baking soda to the water before the treatment. This will regulate the pH level of the water and help ensure treatment is effective. Immerse your hands slowly and one at a time and treat them for 15 minutes or more. If you think you have severe sweating, you can go for a longer treatment like 20 minutes. Please expect a mild tingling sensation during ionthophoresis. Again, know that the electric current used during ionthophoresis is not strong enough to cause a harmful shock, but it could startle you. So don't remove your hands or feet from the water during the treatment. And while I do this treatment, I watch movies to kind of just entertain myself so I don't get bored. And I also put an alarm on my phone so I can time the session properly. Then once 15 minutes has passed, lift your hands from the pan one by one and slowly. Pat your hands dry with a towel to reverse the alligator clips connections. Disconnect the clips after the treatment. Really, really important here is the stainless steel trays or aluminum pans. They should be replaced on a non-conducting surface like wood, or you can also place them on a cloth. Do not let the pants touch each other or a short will occur. Third, you shouldn't connect both alligator clips to the same pan. Fourth, 
If you have some cuts or scratches on your skin, please do apply petroleum jelly. This will protect open wounds from irritation during treatment. So yeah, that's it guys. I can say that my hands are 90 to 95% dry by the fifth day of the treatment. We should note that the severity of hyperhidrosis are different. Some people see the result by the fifth week. Some people notice the result after a week. So it's really important that we should be patient here, okay? So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope this will help a lot of people. I know this ionthophoresis treatment is for hands and feet and I know that hyperhidrosis attacks different parts of the body so I apologize if this video 